Murder on call with the five nah. Twenty years in the same like a lifetime. I've been hanging every day from a lifeline. Why these fucking said I didn't every night? You know, one of my favorite things about this game so far, we're on the final part now. Uh, first off, thank you guys for all the likes and stuff you've been dropping on this series. It really meant a lot to me seeing how well that first video did. And then all the ones after that also doing well. It was just really awesome. So, uh, one thing I will say though is I feel like they did such a great job with this story. And it wasn't because it was something that they said, okay... We should just make a campaign because that's what we do. I felt like they actually wanted to make a really good story. And I feel like they achieved that with this game. So, uh, anyways, I love you guys. This is the final mission of the game. And there's some post credit stuff, so stick around for that. And uh, I love you guys. Let's do this. Been a really good game. I, I really think this might be my favorite Call of Duty campaign that I've ever played. Wait, what? Echo team, this is your start line. Find your way to Nikolai for the charges! Oh, wow. Let's go to work. We'll get there. They're well armed for a lab. We will bury it all. Ooh, effing scar. Let's go. Everyone, fan out! I think one of my favorite endings to a Call of Duty was probably Modern Warfare 3. When you dress up in that, like, all... Like, the two guys dress up in, like, the all steel or whatever. I was trying to grab it and throw it back, because I thought I might be too close. It's going to kill me anyways. Anything because it's so foggy or whatever, just smoking here. Hold on. Pretty sure this thing just goes through everything. Small cliff, though, I'll say that. Nice. Shit out of me, man. This gun absolutely shreds. It's kind of like, it feels like it has like the armor piercing. Oh my god! There you go. <laughs> like with matches, you get burned, bitch. So far, so good. Let's go. Let's go outside. Alex, Hara, Nikolai, come quickly. Get to the charges. 
The detonator will start the chain reaction. Load the furnace, the rest follows. Correct. Don't lose it. Why help us? Barkov is a stain on my country. It will not stand. Спасибо, Николай. I'll take the rest of Price and Sergeant Garrick. See you on the other side. I see movement! This guy? This is a tight corner, man. You gotta be careful. Get everything started in here, you know? like about this campaign is it has not felt like a filler type campaign at all. It doesn't feel like it's just here because people wanted to make it because they wanted to make it a really good story. And it is. Very engaging. Draw all the weapons out. And a story with Captain Price. I mean, it's just all around just a really solid experience. It's sort of like a portion of the game, too. Yeah, let me go ahead and... The Odin, uh, definitely need to get that. Here goes nothing. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, about that. About for me, I was supposed to put, like, the explosives on him and then run. Yeah, well, what are you supposed to do right there? <laughs> Juggernauts. The My guess is I'm supposed to run. Right. Oh my god, dude. He's fast, too. Woo! This guy needs to leave me alone, like now, please. Finally! Oh my god! Big boy's down! I will take your gun though. Didn't leave this line around. And it was tough. Oh shit. They scared the shit out of me. Good thing I didn't kill him. <laughs> I felt like they shot at me though. We're good. Bada, we've got a problem. What is it? Echo, this is actual. How copy? Send traffic actual. 
Got eyes on General Barkov. I say again, Barkov is moving to the helipad. Echo is approaching the furnace now, Actual. Take your charges and move. Roger, Echo out. You heard him. Let's get it done. The furnace is through here. There's the door. On it. There goes nothing. Clear! What happened? Detonator's fucked. It's dead. I'll go in there. And do what? Ignite the furnace. You'll never get away in time. I know what I'm doing. Farah, listen to me. No, you listen to me. Because of this poison, my people have known something worse than war. I did not come this far to turn back. I'm not asking you to turn back. I'm asking you to give me the order. I won't do that. Commander, please. I am not your CO. Then who is? Because someone needs to light this fire and someone needs to kill Barkov. And you can't do both. I've been on assignment my whole life. This is what I believe in. Give me the order. You are a freedom fighter, Alex. You're a born leader, Farah. Say the word. Go. Yes, ma'am. Roger, Echo. Fight into the pipeline now. Set, Sergeant. No ROEs now, huh, Captain? Not at all. <laughs> Stolen with that sniper. RPG, left side! <laughs> Mini gun? I don't really like this grenade launcher, honestly. I only got a couple of shots with it. Might as well use them and then pick up the minigun. Thought I could maybe hit that shot from there, but it's very finicky. I don't know. I really like this gun a lot. Yeah, the length of this campaign's actually been surprising. I was expecting about four to five hours. I think, honestly, it might be close to like six to eight. I saw somebody say it took him like 10 hours to beat it on real realistic mode, but I don't know if that's like... That guy just, I thought he hopped to his death for a minute. Contact! Specific assailant! I remember like one of the first Call of Duty games I've played was the... I think it was just Call of Duty 2. I remember playing it on like veteran mode and it was one of the hardest games I ever played because you'd die in like a few shots. Keep pushing, Kyle! Get in there! Oh my god, this is bad all around. This has been like the the story of this series, is me hiding, waiting for my health to come back. All right, hopefully that's everybody right in the initial area right here. Did we get them all? I don't think we did. I thought a big guy was about to come out that door. I was about to be so nervous. I've cleared this way. Let's get this done. Yes, sir. Nice. All right, set the charges. Let's go.
Looks like this is gonna make one big hook. pop at the end of the game. <laughs> oh, come fucking out. Power, Nikolai, where are you? Я все равно сколько сейчас времени. В Москве мне связь быстро. Play again. Fuck off his wheels up. Скажите им это генерал Я не буду доперировать. Все равно сколько сейчас времени. В Москве мне связь быстро. There goes nothing. Скажите им это генерал Парков. Я не буду доперировать. You. Like deja vu, hold on. Give me that thing. Push him off, push him off. I'm still here, Father. Damn, we actually got him. I told you, Father. I am not a terrorist. I am Kareem. Uh, what's the status? Captain, Barkov is dead. Roger that. Alex, charge is set. Affirmative, sir. Alex. I'm not getting out of here. Let's do this. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All clear, Captain. Roger. All stations on my mark. Three, two, one. Mother Russia would approve. Where to? Orzekstan. Home. Tea? Yeah, well, I'm a long way from a proper pint. Russia disowned Barkov. Well, they didn't have much choice, did they? He's dead. You took a big bite out of that problem, John. For now. We're left unchecked. It won't be. General Shepard pulled the files you asked for. What exactly is this about? A task force. Mm -mm. We already have loose ends. Then I will tie them. I can fund assets, not outlaws. Enjoy the tea, then. Sakayev wants Barkov's throne. I almost buried him in Pripyat with Macmillan. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. They're big fans of Hadir's. Well, that would explain why he's still alive. They're gonna get him out. Then give me what I need. Who's your crew? Sergeant Garrick. Kyle? They call him Gaz. He never said anything. John Octavish, SAS, sniper, demolitions, goes by soap. Why? It's classified. <laughs> there he is. Simon Riley. There's no picture. Never. Not a rest. That's neat to know. Unless we got a deal. What are you calling this task force? One four one. That was a really well done campaign. I'm actually happy I was able to play it. So I'm actually recording this, uh, all of it. 
And like, I think it took me maybe three or four sittings. I guess sometimes they range from an hour to two hours. I'm not one of those people. That's probably why I don't stream. <laughs> I can't like sit down for too long. But uh, you guys are awesome. My probably going to be the most viewed series, I would guess, of the year. I know when World War II came out, I didn't know what to expect. And now it's my most viewed part one. So uh, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, the game was fantastic. I like how they had Captain Price there. A lot of references to other Call of Duties. I thought that was really cool how they added a few of those here and there. Uh, a lot of Easter eggs as well. So it's just been a overall great game. I don't know. Uh, it's crazy to think Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign at all. And it's like... I didn't feel any connection to like the... I guess they actually had like class loadouts and like the characters are like pre pre made and they all had their own background but if they had had a story with those characters i would have felt like man remember that remember this it's just i felt like they didn't really have any of that so uh i'm gonna be playing the multiplayer for this probably a lot if i see you guys out there please go easy on me <laughs> as you've seen throughout the series i died quite a bit uh just been a it's been fun to play I, i'm looking forward to the spec ops as well i don't know anything about it i know how it used to be but I don't know how it is in this game. So, uh, with that being said, though, thank you guys. And thanks again, Activision, for hooking me up with this game early. Uh, I played all of the campaign offline. So, I don't know. I think if you play online, you get, like, special rewards for completing the missions. But my goal in the future, if you guys would like more of this game, I can mess around with Spec Ops. I could do some multiplayer videos. I played some of the beta. Uh, I had, a f I had like, I think I recorded my first match. It's in the playlist somewhere. But, uh... I guess next big game would probably be like Death Stranding than the new Star Wars game. And I think that's honestly about it for 2019. So, uh, you guys are awesome. I love you all. Thanks for everything. Talk to you later, guys. Oh wow, what a tie-in, yo. City's under evacuation. Alcatala's got complete control. This place was nice once, but it's not anymore. East and West rebuilt Verdansk after the Cold War. Like you didn't like that cooperation. Now they've got armor, heavy weapons. Terrorists with tanks. Who's at the helm? Someone new. Nice hit. What's his name? We don't know, but he's got friends in high places. This is Russian intel. Where did we get this? My counterpart in Moscow. The CIA working with the FSB. Not the first time. Kamarov. Captain Price. Nikolai. Been a bad boy. From you, that's a compliment. Please, we're all friends here. I owed you for Beirut. Sergeant Kamarov is going to help conduct this operation. These new weapons give Alcatel the power to turn acts of terror into acts of war. That's the problem for everyone. We're launching a multilateral force to hunt AQ's new leader and contain this threat while we still can. Okay, we're in. Start up your teams. Let's operate. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that's I think his name is Khaled. Uh, he's like the main villain from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. So, that was a really awesome tie-in. The story continues in Spec Ops. Oh, wow. Well, I wonder if it like, unlocks from here on. I have no idea how this all works for this game. I am curious really quick. Alright, so that is it. Let me... Oh, yeah, I need to get my connection on, but... Uh, all right, well, if you guys would like some Spec Ops, just let me know. Uh, but for now, this is it. You guys were awesome. I really can't thank you enough for all the support and everything. And uh, with that being said, guys, I love you. Take it easy.